Okay, so I got onto the NBN network and I want to see if there's an increase in our speeds. We were only able to get um, fiber to the node, unfortunately, which means that we're still getting the bottleneck of copper wiring to the house. So let's see if there's an upgrade from ADSL2 to um, 100 megabits per second um, NBN. Let's jump into it. So now I'm gonna go to the speed test, which I usually use, um, which is speedtest.net. I use this on my phone as well. It's quite good. Okay, so let's see. This is the, again, on the ADSL2 network. So yeah, it seems to be steady around the 15 megabits per second. Um, I don't know how well this is. Um, I don't know if this is a good speed compared to the rest of Australia but I know that it's pretty bad in terms of the world. Okay, so there you have it. 22 milliseconds ping, 15.95 megabits in download, and our upload is just less than one megabit. Um, not the best. Uploading a YouTube video would usually take hours. Downloading is, of course, not the fastest either, a bit slow. I ran the um, speedtest.net twice, just to make sure that we were getting the same thing. Um, I made sure that no one else was using the internet in the house, everything was um, off, and this computer was the only thing running. Enough of this test, um, let's head on to the NBN and see what kind of upgrades we got. Okay, so let's see what kind of speeds we'll get on the NBN network now. Everything's been upgraded and um, there was no physical upgrade, except that we changed to the uh, Bundy Light router, which we're lying around. So let's see what kind of network we're getting. Eight millisecond ping, which is good. And looks like the download is reaching for about 60 megabits per second, which is a huge improvement. Not quite 60, but close. And the upload is a huge improvement, 24 times better than what it was before. So this video should upload in no time. Okay. Cool. Huge improvement. Okay, so this is the router we're currently running NBN on. It's the Bundy Lite by iInet. Sadly, the, um, the firmware is up outdated and so is the manual, so it doesn't actually include instructions on how to get this thing on to, um, to connect NBN via the node. Um, so if anyone has this as well and needs some help, um, I can make a guide for it. Alright, that's it.